Okay, Jeremy. Um, first off, thank you all for everything you've done with Hypothesis. And uh, I know I come off as a little bit of a crank, but uh, I, uh, as a user, I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with its simplicity. Uh, and uh, then, so now I want to talk to you a little bit about my main problem and I, I think you understand it, but I wanted to make clear what it was, was this idea of uh, how do we gather these things together? Um, and part of the problem you'll notice here that sometimes they're tagged and sometimes they're not. And the problem is that if I click on the tagged item, then what I get is stuff that Kevin has tagged and stuff that I have tagged, but that's it. And um, and maybe I just don't understand how to do it. Uh, and if not, then help me. Um, what I want is to do like I do with Digo. So I'm going to go to a Digo site. This is a great article in the Atlantic about uh, uh, Penn from Penn and Teller and how he used to be a Latin teacher. So what I wanted to do, mainly I knew, the reason I used Digo was because I knew what I wanted to do was to collect a lot of information here, to highlight and collect. And I did a little bit of, of work, a little bit of work with adding some annotations, but mostly not. So that when I'm done, I go over to here, I click on this, and then I click here, and there are all of my annotations. And then all I have to do is click copy all and it's added to a clipboard and then I can mess with it. Now, there's still problems associated with this, but basically I don't know how to do that with this. Other than what I have done in, in some, sometimes is, um, let me just use this one. Say I got everybody to use technocracy as the tag everybody puts that tag in every single note and then they can tag anything else that they wanted but they would have this identif identifier tag and that will enable people to go to uh, that, will, that will enable people to gather everything up all at once but still even with that let's just go back to technocracy um, you still have the issue here of, okay, what's the best way to gather this stuff together? So if I collect everything in you know, control A, control C, and then I put it into something, um, you know, I still have to deal with it. And it's, there's a lot of redundant information here, like, um, well, reply and link and when and, you know, this, obviously, you know, I'm not going to need that. Um, so I, I, that's my main issue there is the, the need for a way to manage the notes, um, especially for the classroom. Because if I sign a, if I sign an article like this one for my students to read, I'm going to want to be able to gather that information all up in one spot. Um, and I suppose what I could do is simply, I could simply uh, make them have an identifying username and use that as a tag and then use, uh, uh, then have them use a class identifier tag uh, so that they all go into one spot uh, so that I can deal with all of them there. Because what I, what I like to do is to gather up all the information the next time we meet, uh, go over it as uh, either as groups in class 
or as, uh, as a class, as a whole, or individually. And um, this is just not, it's not there yet for me. So uh, the beauty of this is that there's way less friction here. Um, it's way more social and it's, uh, and, you know, even things like, you know, what's the link? Well, you know, instead of link copy, I simply go there, right click and I click search. Um, what do I do? There's something I've forgotten. I've forgotten what I do here. Um, hmm. Now, anyway, um, I do like the um, adding the rich media, and I do like almost everything about what we've got here. Uh, you know, really like um, this up here. If we could put this here down to here. That would be the second most needed thing that I would like, because I'd love to be able to take student comments and break out uh, exemplars and uh, interesting responses and uh, maybe uninteresting responses. Okay, that's it. Uh, and I hope this is in some way helpful. Thanks a lot, Jeremy.